dehydrated. <laughs> Welcome back to another Monday meditation. As always, it doesn't have to be Monday when you're sitting down to practice this with me, but I always post these meditations on Mondays. Today, our meditation is going to be for irritation. So you don't also don't have to be irritated as you're sitting down to do this, but this is going to be a great practice to really bring you to a calm and centered state when you're feeling irritation or agitation. We're going to use the breath as the tool to calm the mind and to calm the body. The breath has a lot of positive benefits for not only our thoughts, not only our mind, but also our nervous system and can help a lot with bringing the body to a more balanced state and release stress and anxious feelings. I'll link more in the description box below so that you can do more research about meditation and understand the benefits of mindfulness and sitting down to get still and to focus on the breath. But for now, we'll go ahead and get right into our meditation together. So you'll take a comfortable seat and you can either sit in a chair or you can sit on the floor. Make sure if you sit on the floor, you're comfortable enough to sit upright. So if you wanna slip a little blanket under the hips, you can do that. Or you might even take the hands, grab the flesh <laughs> and pull it back a little bit so that your sit bones can really connect into the floor. And then you'll place the hands down on the lap for a moment. We're gonna take an inhale to shrug the shoulders up by the ears. And right away, you'll start to feel kind of this gathering and tension. As you take your next breath out, roll the shoulders down and back. Feel the softening and maybe even a flush of energy. Leave the neck and shoulders as you take the shoulders down. And we're gonna do that a couple more times. So as you inhale, shrug the shoulders up to the ears. And then exhale, glide the shoulders down and back and go ahead and soften and relax the neck and chest. One more time, big inhale, shrug the shoulders up by the ears. And as you exhale, glide the shoulders down and back. Good, we're gonna do a little bit more stretching with the breath. So as you take your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And as you exhale, bring the fingers all the way back down to the ground, bring your chin in towards your chest. Keep the fingers on the floor and you're gonna slide the left ear over to the left shoulder. And then trace your collarbone with your chin all the way to the center and over to the opposite side. So now right ear is hovering over right shoulder. And one more time, we're gonna go in both directions. So bringing the chin in towards the center of the chest and then left ear over to left shoulder. Good. Take an exhale as you bring the chin to the chest, breathe out completely. And then as you inhale, start to bring right ear to hover over the right shoulder. And this time as you exhale and you bring the chin to the chest, we're gonna roll the neck back up to stack. Vertebrae, 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 head right on top of the chest. One more time with the arm raise, you're gonna reach the arms up with the inhale, interlace the fingers, and then push the palms forward as you round your spine. Really hollow out the front side of your body here so you feel this sense of scooping back pushing the mid back towards the wall behind you. Now tuck the chin into the chest, take an inhale to fill the space of the upper back, mid back. And then as you exhale, release the hands and come up to sit, nice. We're gonna release the hands down by the side. Now we're gonna sit for 10 minutes and so I'm going to set a timer for us and during this time, we're gonna focus on the breath. So you will notice during our meditation together that the mind is going to wander. And when your mind does wander, it's, it inevitably will happen. Our minds think that's what, they, that's what they do. And when you notice it, instead of being, you can notice what comes up. So you might feel a sense of agitation. You might feel a sense of curiosity. You might even feel a sense of excitement about whatever thought it was. Whatever feeling comes with that, just notice it. So, oh, I'm irritated that my mind keeps wandering and I'm trying to sit here and, and meditate. Notice it and then release it. Very gent being very gentle with yourself, draw your attention back to the breath or perhaps an, it's an exciting thought and you think like, oh, I actually wanna think about that. Like, I wanna even pause the video, don't do that. <laughs> you might think like, oh, this is important, this is exciting, this is something I have to get done. Know that that thought will still be there for you when we're finished with our practice, but this is a practice of 
keeping the mind focused and that is going to benefit you so much throughout the rest of your day and throughout throughout the rest of really life when there are things that you want to accomplish when you sit down to do it you're going to have that attention span to work with so using the breath as our anchor both to calm the mind calm the body but also as a point of focus to practice attention span we'll go ahead and begin the timer in just a moment and i'll ring a bell when we're ready to come out of meditation so to begin before i re before i press the start button take a big inhale sit up as tall through your spine as possible as you can and then as you exhale go ahead and settle in a little bit if it means that the spine rounds just a touch go ahead and do it Try to keep as much length up through your posture as you can, but nothing too rigid. Find a little bit of softness and ease, and I'll begin our timer. I'll ring a bell when we're finished, and we'll begin.
slide the palms up the thighs towards the hips. And then when you get to the very top of the femur bone, gently press the hands down and lengthen up through your spine. So you have this resistance of the hands pushing the thighs down and the spine rising up. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, release that pressure on your thighs. Take the palms up over the eyes. You're gonna cup the hands over the eye sockets, eyes closed. Gently press the face into the palms. And then slide the palms up the forehead and you're gonna start to take the fingerprints, the finger pads, and rake across the forehead and down towards the temple. And then from the center of the cheekbone up towards the ears. And then from the ears down the jawline. Good, and then one more time from chin all the way up the face, very gently, pressure with the palms up the face, up over the eyebrows, up over the forehead, towards the hairline, past the hairline. And then release the hands down to the lap and open up your eyes. We're gonna take the right leg out to the side so you can keep the left leg tucked in. If you're in a chair, you can also just extend one leg and keep the other leg bent. If you're on the floor, go ahead and drape your torso over that leg. And you cannot even place blankets and pillows right here to kind of catch yourself and drape forward. So if you have a blanket nearby, go ahead and take it. Let the head drop towards the knee. Good, and then press with your fingerprints to roll back up through the spine, and we're gonna trade sides. Now tucking the right leg in or just bending the right knee if you're in a chair, taking that left leg out to the side. Turn your chest towards that leg. Go ahead and drape your torso over it. You can move your pillows and blankets over this leg. Feel the stretch in the back of the right side. Good, push the hands down to rise back up. We're gonna extend the legs straight out in front, so go ahead and take the legs, the heels forward. You're gonna take the hands again at the top of the femur bone and just gently press down the quad muscle. Be gentle over the knee, but keep some pressure down over the knee, the shin. Reach as far as you can, it doesn't have to be far, but go as far as you can, keeping that pressure with the hands. Good, and then coming back up the opposite way. If you need to bend the knees to reach the feet, bend the knees, massage the soles of the feet all the way down the arch, the heel, the ankle, and then when you get to a place with the hands that you can re-straighten the legs, go ahead and straighten and pressure all the way up the sides of the legs. Good, now take that pressure to the low back, gently push into your own low back and start to arch back, roll the shoulders back as you push in, palms into the low spine or low sacrum area, lift the chin, inhale. Good, and then exhale, bend the knees. You're gonna curl into a little ball, like a cannonball shape. Hug your own knees, take an inhale as you hug in tight. And then as you exhale, sit tall, press the sits bones down, lift up through the neck, lift up through the top of your skull. And then release, nice. Go ahead and take a comfortable position. That was our meditation, so thank you so much for joining me for this. That really feels like, not always, but it feels like sometimes like a cup of tea. It's like very calming but energizing at the same time. So I hope you feel that too. Um, I do bring these meditations every Monday. I bring you workouts on Wednesdays and Friday yoga flows. I will link more videos in the description box below so that if you want to make this time a complete full, full um, self-care, full practice for yourself, there are some videos that will be really good to pair with this one. I will be bringing you a workout on Wednesday, so make sure if you are new to the channel, you subscribe and you'll have access to all of those or you'll be in the know when those are released. If you liked this video, please give it the thumbs up because that lets other people know that it's relevant and that they might like it too. So make sure you give it the thumbs up so that you can return to it, but also it can reach more people. I really enjoy bringing you these videos, so thank you for continuing to show up. I look forward to seeing you again on Wednesday. No, I don't belong.